Hello guys, how are you? The code Holic is here. In previous video, I talked about E2 framework, answered a couple of questions, and then we, we installed the framework and explored its fol folder structure and created Hello World application. In this video, I want to talk about entry script and application components. Entry script, which is the main file uh, and which handles all incoming requests, it creates application instance. The application has components, modules, uh, controllers. Um, the application components are basically a single tone classes, which um, which does some uh, particular uh, some specific things like DB component. So DB component is responsible to connect to the database and make requests in the database, like make selects, inserts, updates, and so on. Application can have zero or more components. Uh, and the components, as I said, are singletons. They are, uh, there exists just one instance of the application. The application has modules. The module, you can think uh, as a mini application. So it, it can also have controllers, the module itself. It can also have sub modules. And the application can have zero or more modules. Controllers. Controllers are uh, the main files which contain actions, and the actions are the place where you uh, write, uh, where you accept um, request data, uh, use the model to get the data from the database, and then render the view and return the response. Okay, and application can have uh, application must have at least one controller to handle the request properly and the controllers can have filters uh, there exist couple of types of filters like uh, you can use filter for changing the output data changing the response like from the controller array can be returned but the filter can convert into json uh, and filters can also be used to reject the request and return uh, re the response immediately. If user doesn't have permission to do some particular thing, uh, the filter re will reject the request and return forbidden exception to the user immediately without accessing the controller's action. Okay, so um, models and views. So these are uh, the main uh, controllers, models and views are um, the uh, main parts of the MVC framework, right? So and the models are, are responsible to getting the for getting the data and saving the data and the views are just um, view files, PHP view files to render the data uh, from the controller. Okay, and the view files can use asset bundles and widgets. Asset bundles are special classes uh, I mentioned in previous video, I think, but uh, I will still repeat. Asset bundles are special classes which, um, which are responsible for um, rendering JavaScript and CSS files uh, specific to one particular topic. Like um, we can create an asset bundle which uh, uh, is responsible to uh, render some third party JavaScript plugin okay which can have its own CSS and JavaScript and the view can use zero or more asset bundles uh, it's also possible that the view should not doesn't render anything and only the asset bundles are used which are registered globally okay and the widgets are special classes uh, which uh, are used for one par particular user interface component like widget of an alert or widget for a drop down button Okay, let's have a look at the request flow. So, user makes a request and the request comes to the entry script. Then the application config uh, file is loaded and application instance is created and it's run. Then the application uh, looks at the current root and um, according to the root, it uh, creates a controller and it's, uh, it uses request singleton component to get the root and out of this root then it creates controller. The controller creates an action and there exists uh, inline actions which, which uh, lives inside the controller which are methods of the controller and there exists standalone actions which are used for some repetitive uh, uh, endpoints like for example to generate a captcha which is um, which can be a standalone action and we, we, which is standalone action by default in the framework's core 
Okay, so then some filters are uh, applied to the action and the request can be rejected immediately and the response will be returned to the user or the, if the uh, filter continues then action is created uh, which uses the model, it loads the model, the model can use the database optionally um, and then the action renders view passing the model data. Okay. Then the view file is used, then the rendered result is given to the action again and the action returns uh, action and the controller returns the response to the user. Let's have a look at the uh, entry script and the config file. So here is the entry script and all requests come to this index.php. Right now uh, the application is started using PHP's built-in server PHP e serve and this, uh, this basically redirects all the requests to the index.php which is located under a web folder. Okay? And here we define some debug and environment constants. We include, we require autoload PHP. We require uh, the most important uh, E class from the uh, E core. And then we uh, use config file to create the application instance and when the instance is created we run it immediately okay and behind it uses the request component to get the current route and creates a controller and action and does all the rest the rest of the things basically okay I hope this makes sense if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section below and see you guys in the next time